Okay, good day everyone. For today's discussion, we are going to talk about writing the research paper, particularly about the research title, the background of the study, and the research problem and questions. Okay, now in answering the question, how to proceed with writing, a researcher must bear in mind in the following questions. First one, what issues am I interested in researching? Remember that in writing a research, it would always start with the questions in mind, a question that you want to be answered. Next, why am I interested in this issue? Third, who are involved in this issue? So this would talk about those who would benefit from your study as well as those who would be your participants or your respondents. Then fourth, what are the possible themes that I may have about this issue? So this refers to your theories or your hypotheses or assumptions regarding the topic or issue you have in mind. And lastly, how can I gather evidences to support my assumptions or claims about this issue? So basically, this refers to your references or to your related literature and related studies. Furthermore, it is important to take note of the following when writing the initial parts of the study. When we say initial parts of the study, this refers to the first few parts or first chapter of a research paper. We start with determining the topic of interest or the research problem itself, followed by conducting initial readings. Then, write a research title, followed by providing a background of the study, Next would be formulating the research statement and questions. Lastly, formulate a hypothesis. At this point, let's talk about the first step, which is to determine the topic of interest. In identifying a possible research problem, Creswell in 2012 suggests questions that a researcher may ask. The questions are, what was the issue, problem, or controversy that needs to be addressed? Second, what controversy leads to a need for this study? Last, what was the concern being addressed behind this study? Remember that when we are searching for a topic, it always needs to be based on a particular questions that needs to be answered, an issue that needs to be solved, a problem that needs to be addressed. Furthermore, it must be based on your own interests. Otherwise, if you are going to search for a topic or conduct a research about the topic that is far beyond your interest, you may find it difficult to actually finish or proceed with conducting the study itself. Okay, now at this point, let's have a short recap. When we say topic, it refers to a subject matter that is addressed by a study. A topic must have the following characteristics. It must be smart. First, it must be specific. Meaning, it is focused on a single topic which is not too broad or not too narrow. Second, since this is going to be a quantitative research, it must be measurable. Measurable in a sense that it involves numeric data and statistics. Next one, it must be attainable. When we say attainable, it means that it can be accomplished at a given time. Next will be results focus. A research that is a results focus means that it can yield results and answer the questions that had been stated. And lastly, it must be timely. When we say timely, it must be relevant to the current situations. It is not something that is absolute or something that has been conducted a year before. Okay, now, in terms of determining the topic of interest, the following steps are followed when a topic is developed. First, we need to identify a general topic of interest 
followed by adding a layer of specificity to your topic through obtaining background information on the said topic. When we say specificity, you're trying to make it more narrow by adding a bit of information which you would like to focus in your topic. Next, we identify additional specific of your topic, followed by choosing a particular perspective or issue on the topic and identifying variables to link to your topic. This is the part when you start identifying what particular variables related to the topic you would want to study on. Next, of course, you need to write a problem statement. And from this particular problem statement, you are able to formulate a working title. And when we say a working title, it means that it is something that is tentative, not permanent, bound to change, depending on what is going to be recommended. Okay, now let's look at this example here. First step, which is choose the general topic of interest. For this particular example, we choose the concept of learning. Now, we all know that learning is a very wide concept, that is why we add a layer of specificity by obtaining background information. At this point, the concept of learning is further reduced into more specific concept, which is cooperative learning. However, since cooperative learning, even though it is much more specific, it is still a broad topic as it covers a lot of areas. We try to narrow it further. We identify additional specifics to your topic. At this point, we have cooperative learning environment, the subject in science. From there, we proceed with choosing a particular perspective or issue in the topic and identify the variables to link to your topic. From this particular example, we are able to come up with this one. The issue and variables that we need to study would be cooperative learning environment, academic achievement, and small group process skills in physics class. If you are going to observe, we are able to narrow down science class into much more specific, which are physics class. From there, we will start to write a problem statement. For example, engagement in a cooperative learning environment will result in higher academic achievement and development of small group process skills in physics. From there, we write a working title of the study, which is this one. The link between cooperative learning environment achievement and small group process skills in physics. Okay, now after we have identified the topic that we'll be using for the research, we now proceed with conducting initial readings. Now, you might be wondering what is the purpose of having an initial readings. We'll answer that particular question. Conducting initial readings about the research topic allows for researchers to have an idea regarding, first, the target of the research, second, the methodologies used by other researchers when conducting a relevant study, third, would be the results and conclusions, followed by the recommendation for future research, and last, areas for further research. Pretty much conducting initial readings would give you an idea on how you'd be able to conduct your study. This would give you an inspiration regarding the methodologies that we'll be using, what kind of information you'll be needing, and how you're going to proceed with your study to avoid repetition of the results. Now, at this point, after we have conducted initial readings about our selected topic for research, we now proceed with writing the research title. Now, when writing the research title, it must have the following characteristics. First, it must summarize the main idea of the paper, meaning to say it must give an overview or an idea regarding the topic of the objectives of the research itself. Second, it must be a concise statement of the main topic. Third, it must show the relationship of the variables or the main variables of the study. 
Fourth, it must include the main task of a researcher about the variables. And lastly, it must mention the participants generally and the setting. Okay, we take note of this term generally here because in the title, it must be a general statement. We try to make it more specific in the scope and the limitation of your research. Furthermore, when writing the research title, the researcher must be reminded of the following. First, in formulating the title, the researcher should avoid using words that serve no useful purposes and can be misleading. Examples such as methods, results, study, or investigation tend to be redundant because of the research itself is already a study or an investigation. Furthermore, methods and research will be discussed in the latter part of the research itself. And in many cases, the general problem or even the specific question that the researcher intends to answer when written a statement form can serve as the title. And that will be all for today. Thank you guys for listening. Next session, we will be discussing the background of the study.